Hey guys, it's Rachel and welcome to my channel. So I thought my first video I would do up would be about skincare and my skincare routine in particular because I put up a little photo on Instagram, I think it was last week, and it was showing you what my skin looked like before and what it looked like currently. And I just asked if any of you guys wanted to see a video and there was a pretty big yes. So I decided to pop this one together for you. All right, so it goes without saying, everyone's skin is different. Different products are gonna work for different people. So this is what worked for me. If it works for you, that's awesome. I'd love to hear about it. If not, there might be other options that you have to explore. So I'll give you a bit of background knowledge. When I was in high school, my skin was pretty much fine. Like I had a couple of little breakouts on my forehead, but nothing too major and didn't concern me too much at all. My skin started to get really bad when I turned 21 and I'm 23 now, by the way. So it started to break out and it would have been like along the tops of my cheeks and then it would move to my chin and then it would move to my forehead and it, it was just moving all around the place. Eventually it decided it wanted to settle on my cheeks and so I was getting breakouts all along my cheeks and along my jaw So they were painful like You know sensitive areas of skin and there was big bumps coming through and they were red and it got to the point where it looked like this And I've managed to calm it down and it's a lot better now. So when I'm not wearing makeup, it's more like this now all right, so what I ended up doing, if you saw my blog post a couple of months ago, you would see that my housemate suggested me a brand called Murat. And that was really great at the time. Like it cleared my skin up and it did a good job of preventing new breakouts. But I noticed that the longer I was using it, the stranger the texture of my skin became. Like I would like my skin to look supple and fresh and it was starting to dry it out. And I was starting to look like a flaky, like dried out goldfish. I don't know. It was just, you know, skin and it was, it was yuck. Like don't go there. If your skin is naturally more on the dry side, just don't use products that are going to dry it out even more. Obviously learnt my lesson. And, um, you know, it was still clear though. And when I went to Thailand with Bo, if you've ever been there, you know how humid it is. And that humidity, it just busted my skin out all over again. It's like I had never been through the whole years and years of trial and error of like cleansing, toning, moisturizing, the Murad products, everything. It was back and in full force and it was red and it was painful and I just didn't know how to cope with it anymore. And I don't know about you, but I tended to find that when my skin was bad, my confidence was completely gone like squat nothing there and I don't know if it was just me again but whenever I went to talk about it with someone I'd actually start to get really really upset and I think it's because it's something that's not completely in your control like you'd like to think it is I mean it's your skin on your body but it's not I mean it's how your skin's reacting to something or it's not getting a nutrient that it needs or just any of those sorts of things and I think for that kind of problem you have to fix it from the inside out so Bo had told me how he used to be on Roaccutane and I started doing some research into that because I tried taking the pill for my skin and that went really badly. Like I was psycho. I was so insane. Like one moment I'd be like crazy, like yelling and then the next I'm like crying and I couldn't get out of bed for days. I'm pretty sure I called in sick like three days in a row at one point. I couldn't do anything. So I stopped taking that because I just couldn't function. I couldn't live. I couldn't work nothing and people would say it would get better but it wasn't getting any better so I just decided to stop taking that and um, then I was looking into Roaccutane and other products that you can take for your skin just to see if they would help me out a little bit and I started to read you know all the side effects because obviously I want to know what I'm going to be putting into my body and a lot of them were saying side effects are depression anxiety and if it lists that in a side effect I cannot take it because it will happen to me. I don't know if I'm just genetically predisposed to it, but if it lists that as a side effect, I will 100% guarantee that I'm going to get it. So I couldn't take those and I decided to look into a more natural method that I think would suit me better. So funny thing is, I was doing some research and I found my holy grail, vitamin A. And what I basically started doing, now keep in mind you can take too much vitamin A. So I would take one in the morning, 
and one at night if I remembered. So I try to do that every single day and after the first week my skin was calmer and it wasn't hurting so much anymore. After three to four weeks I was getting no more breakouts and my scars had actually started reducing as well. So if I'm not wearing makeup now there's a couple of little spots that I have but they don't really worry me because they're still fading. So vitamin A was a godsend and if you know at the start when I started taking it if my skin felt like it was gonna break out a little bit, I started to put on just a dab of the Skin Institute Vitamin A cream and mixed in with the Skin Institute Vitamin C powder. And I normally just use the Vitamin A cream now if I feel my skin getting a bit sensitive. My actual routine itself, I obviously wipe my makeup off as soon as I get home. I don't really want makeup on when I'm at home. Then I'll just cleanse it in the shower, I mainly just use water to wash it, like I'm not really fussed on using any products on it now. And then after my shower, I just use witch hazel and I just rub that into my face. Now obviously there are a few other behaviours I have which could be influencing my skin so I thought I'd tell you guys about those too. Where I live it's really really hot most of the year so I drink about three or four litres every day. I know that can seem like a lot but if you're, you've got like a big bottle of water like where's mine? That. Like I have this everywhere or something of the equivalent size to it and um, that just helps me to track my water intake because I know how big the water bottle is I know much how much more I have to have for the rest of the day so I like to avoid sugar as much as possible and just eat really healthy and I think they're important because once you start to treat yourself from the inside your body will start to repair itself from the outside and that was a huge thing I started to notice with vitamin A as well because you'll find I, I don't again I don't know if it was the brand that I was purchasing but all the ones that I found it advertises that it's good for eyesight and I was like mm, okay so I bought it anyway and it's actually amazing for your fingernails like mine have gotten really really long and your hair mine's been growing really fast and obviously your skin so if you've given vitamin A a go I'd love to hear about it like just let me know in the comments below and whatever you want to see next in the video let me know as well I'm totally open to suggestions because I'd love to make whatever you guys want to see. Thanks for watching!